The following is a paid advertisement for Topic 10. Do you remember when you were a scared freshman? Now, for only four payments of $29.99, you can see how much you've changed since freshman year. Our firm goes through a nine-step procedure to test for accuracy of your ID picture after four years. In this demonstration of our sampling technique, we will evaluate only a percentage of the entire class and come to a conclusion on the accuracy of the photos. We guarantee increased efficiency! testing for management's assertion of accuracy of Hare's physical appearance over four years. What would you expect to happen after four years? Our expectation is that the hair appearance will change over four years to rest. Our deviation from this is that the appearance of the hair on the individual's head looks is the class as a whole. Let's take a look. We obtained our evidence from Whitworth Student Directory, also known as StockerNet. Our sampling unit is each individual in our class. We are using an Excel-generated random sample. Since 23 people is way too many to test, we're going to take 30% of our population. That's seven people! Our seven sample units include Margie, Cole, T Flo, Ben, Sam, Joe, and Stephanie. So, our first test subject is Cole. And as you can see, his hair is styled and colored very similarly from his freshman year picture to his current look. However, the way that he has chosen to wear his facial hair in the most current view, we see that as supporting our expectation for our testing. Tuflo did not have a current Facebook photo, so we had to use alternate analytical procedures to obtain this photo, otherwise known as snapping a photo in class. Tiflo has not changed significantly in her appearance in four years, so she is a deviation from our expectation. Ben, freshman year, had a fuzzy head of hair, but now he has more of a buzz cut. Since boys typically have shorter hair, we concluded that the difference in the length of Ben's hair was substantial enough to support our expectation. As you can see in Sam's photo, her hair has changed substantially. It is much longer now and a different color. It also appears it's parted on the other side, but we're not sure if that's just a selfie or what it is. Similar to T-Flo, we had to do an alternate procedure when uh, evaluating Joe. In this case, we are pretty sure he caught on to the sneaky picture taking in class. As you can see, he's staring right at our camera. Anyway, back to analyzing. You can tell that his hair has changed a little bit uh, in length and tint. And he has changed his hat. So this supports our expectation. Our next sample unit is Stephanie. Um, and as you can see, there's a few differences we have noticed uh, from her hair between her ID photo and her most recent photo. For one, it's parted on the opposite side of her head. That's a clear style change. And also, the color is now lighter than it was four years ago. Our next sample unit is Margie, um, and as you can see from her two photos, we concluded that her hair is substantially and materially the same across the years. We found two people in our sample group that were part of the deviation. Our sample group was seven, which is 28%. So 28% projected onto our population of 23 means that six people are part of the deviation. 
It's important to note that our projected number of deviations of 6 that we obtained from our sample procedures may be different from the actual number of deviations if we evaluated the whole class. This is known as sampling risk. After evaluating all of the sample results, it's finally time to document the sample procedures. This includes the objective of the test and the assertions, the population in the sampling unit, the definition of a deviation going on Facebook, the method of sample selection, the list of deviations from the sample, an evaluation of the sample projected onto the population, and their overall conclusion. If you follow these nine steps, you'll be able to see how much you've changed since freshman year. Remember, that's only four easy payments of $29.99 and all this will be yours. If you call in the next 10 minutes, you'll receive a free tutorial on how to Facebook stock. It's so good, it sells itself! Now, for only four payments of $29.99 of our population to sample. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna throw these at you. <laughs> they do all kill you.